Hello, this is War Weasel. It's been a while since I've updated, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what I've been working on and let everybody know that I'm okay. Um, I know I'm probably not on anyone's top lists, but uh, I wanted to get a little bit deeper into what I've done uh, to fix a major issue I've had. And this has just been kicking my butt uh, because my code would get so complex that I just can't handle uh, all the different states that uh, are happening. Uh, right now, this is my rewrite. I can pick up weapons. Notice that the uh, right left hand is a little bit off. I need to flip some, flip the object there. But he can pull out weapons. He puts it back, pulls out the next one. Uh, when I'm doing other things, it can put away the weapon and put. But notice my my state machine is working very well. Right now, I have the part uh, where it checks to see if a hand is empty and only does the unequip if necessary. I turned that off um, just so I could do more testing. Um, so he's going to put it away no matter what he does. But. Anyway, so, and we also have a sword here. So let's see, there's the sword. And I still have all this working. Um, there we go. So, all good, all good, all very happy stuff. But I'd like to get into some of the details about this. Uh, one of the problems I've had is this whole idea of an animation pair, where two animations could happen, have to happen at the same time on two different objects, and they have to be synchronized uh, in order for a door to open and look like both, you know, that they're both happening at the same time. Uh, but mostly, Let's jump in here. I did this using a thing called an interaction component. The interaction component, let's just close all the other tabs. It has some basic things that you would call, such as, you know, interact, equip, reload, unequip, which is all I have right now. So anytime I want to do those things, you know, I, it has to go through here and I just send this. Let me open up blueprints. Right now I'm using my third person character. And so let's say I want to interact. I call the interact and it sees, well, is it falling? Am I already interacting? Well then, use the interaction component to start the interaction. It will handle things such as, you know, checking to see if anything's close enough to interact with, uh, highlighting things when you get close enough, things like that. Uh, equip, you know, this is what you would expect. Uh, it has a series of functions in here that I need, such as play half body animation, play full body animation, etc. It also has some interaction stuff, such as object exit, object enter. This is for highlighting. Uh, get object distance squared, you know, highlight closest. And then some stuff that I can get from the character, such as our hands full, get current weapon, uh, set the character lo location rotation, and get the character transform. All very important stuff. The big deal here, though, is this are these notifications. And these are pretty much just pass-throughs now. 
And I'll, I'll explain what I'm passing through. But whenever an event happens, such as an end of interaction or an end of animation or a quick notification, uh, it goes through my interaction component. Now, where are those? Well, to go back, let's take a look at the interaction component. We'll go to the animations. Assault rifle is good. And let's go to equip. So let's do the equip animation. And here, this only has one notify, but I put various notifies in the animations. So when the animation is playing, I should get an equip animation. So this is going to send an event to the interaction component. It uses, it sends, it has data that goes with it, whether it's equip or unequip, and whether it's a right hand or left hand. I was thinking about adding left hand, but I haven't needed it so far, so I haven't added it so far. Uh, going back here, let's go back to blueprints. Anim notifies, my interaction notifies, and let's do the uh, equip, which you just saw. They're all pretty much the same. They just have slightly different data, but we receive a notification in the notify that I get my owner. I cast it to a uh, WW character interface so that I can get the interaction component in a in an easy way uh, without having to worry about what kind of object it is, what kind of character it is. And then basically whether or not equip was set, I do an e equip notification or unequip notification and I send the item to the equip notification. So right now I'm not using that item it seems so I should should probably delete that equip notification. But here if I go to the equip notification let me get rid of this. This is all old trash. All it does is it finds the and I'm back in the interaction component it finds the interaction state machine. Well what is that? Down here interaction state machine is an interaction state machine base. I know I'm getting a little bit uh, matrioska here but there's a reason for this. So let's go here. We go to the character components and here's my interaction state machine under my character components. I have the interaction state base which is so I can keep these in a single variable and just a test. Whoops. It has notifications, all those notifications you saw, and default values such as interact, init, tit, tick, equip, unequip, reload. So those look really familiar. So whatever state I'm in, it can respond differently based on what object is here. And this is just the base, uh, which should give errors or warnings whenever it's used. It should not be used directly. But here is a uh, not interacting state, which is what you're in most of the time. Why is that not working? Okay. So it has, you know, when I, you know, when I do an interaction, this is where all the code for that is. And so it checks to see if uh, I'm interacting right now. And if not, it finds the closest object tells it to interact and I start the interaction proce uh, procedure. So I have to get the animation pair up front and then I pass it through, well, I have a pre-interaction pair, a pre-interacting state which put away a weapon if I have one. Uh, if not, it skips that. But again, that's the pre-interacting class. And then I finally return the class you know, to the current state. So no matter what happens, uh, you know, I can always update my state. 
And so far, this has been working really well. I have a pre-interacting state, then I do my interaction state, interacting state, uh, which pretty much is an init. You know, I play the full body animation and I send the other object the animation. And then I wait for either an end animation or an item in hand or an add to inventory uh, event. And then I handle those, which I just basically call in my interaction component, I have several event dispatchers that my character can wait for. So it's a, it's a nice, easy way to handle this. And I'm really uh, excited that I have everything working. Uh, right now, I am using the... Where's my... my the weapon component. And this is pretty much directly from the uh, interaction system, the character interaction system that I bought. Really useful. But there's a lot of data in there I'm not using. So every time I do anything, I have to send... Uh, that's the item in hand. Right now I have... a uh, pickup object and a weapon struct that I have to pass everywhere. If I look on my third person character here, I have weapon struct and weapon actor. Oh, I definitely don't need these anymore. But anyway, so I'm tired of passing both of these separately and I'm tired of, you know, kind of keeping that data ad hoc. And so I'm going to use Oh, let's see. Is it under here? Nope. Oh, my bad. Under interactions, under blueprints, under weapons, under structures, I'm going to have a weapon table with each of the weapons, and I'm going, that's my, uh, that's where I'm going to use it now. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. Uh, hopefully I'm getting closer to having a, uh, a real game, but I've had a little more time to work on things recently and uh, it's, it's been exciting. So anyway, uh, stay safe out there, uh, have a great day, and I'll be back soon, hopefully with uh, new functionality.